Okay, hi guys, morning. We are here today to do a little experiment with um, the seven boys, the seven hyenas, spotted hyenas. And uh, over what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be testing a cooler box. Um, I've been told by the guys at Wild Coolers that their cooler boxes are literally indestructible and that they guarantee me that a hyena or a clan of hyenas won't be able to get into the cooler box. And uh, as many of you know, hyenas are um, very, very smart animals and, and you'll know that by, by the fact that you've been watching my YouTube videos. So hyenas are smart, they can get in anywhere, they use their, their claws, they use their, their wit and they use their teeth. This is going to be an interesting uh, experiment because um, you know, we've got bets that say they will and there's bets that say they won't get in. But there's, let me just run through some of the features. Um, it's made out of a really, really resistant, hard plastic. So you can see this is not just your standard um, cooler box material, it's really thick and insulated which will obviously keep your, your food and your ice um, cold or the ice uh, for, for up to a week and your, your, obviously your meat and that frozen or, or, or chilled depending on how you, you like it. And it's got these latches here that obviously keep it closed and then on the inside this rubber silicon seal um, that prevents any of the smells of the cooler box from permeating the air and uh, that would obviously prevent predators, um, especially scavengers, from smelling the meat and coming to investigate. But what's really good is this little locking area here. And if you've got a long arm lock like that, you can insert it, and clip it in and then uh, that's not going to open. So let's put one on the other side. Brilliant. So with those in place, literally it's going to be a tough ask for any animal to, to get into this cooler box. Okay, so we're almost ready to rock and roll. The only thing we need to do is put some enticement into the box and uh, we know what hyenas love, little chunks of meat. So we're going to stick half a cooler box full of chunks of meat and uh, we're going to put them to the test. So stay tuned. Okay, so as many of you know, hyenas have pound for pound the strongest jaw strength out of the land mammals. So in the region, some would say around about 750 pounds per square inch. The way they utilize their crushing pressure is with their carnassial teeth, the back teeth. They're kind of shaped like that, uh, really designed, they're conical in shape and they're designed for crushing. So the hyena's uh, jaw strength really comes at the back of the mouth, not so much in the front. Look. Don't get me wrong, they can still gnash and bite and tear off, you know, big chunks of flesh uh, from the canines and the incisors, but it's really at the back of the mouth that the crushing pressure comes. So for them to get their jaws around this cooler box is going to be quite interesting. Uh, personally, I think the, the rubber latches are going to go and I think those handles are as good as gone. Um, I think initially these hyenas are probably going to drag this box around. <laughs> it's going to go for a ride around the enclosure but um, after that then they're going to you know try and get in I don't even know personally if they're going to know that there is meat inside because obviously the seal doing its job they shouldn't really smell but I think what's happened is cat was putting the meat in he might have dripped a bit on the side there might be just the slightest um, uh, scent of meat around the box which will make it even that much more interesting So hyenas really love to chew things and um, if you've got anything out in the bush that is made out of plastic or nylon or rope or canvas and um, it has any trace or smell of any meat or anything like that on it then it's fair game uh, for the hyena. So what you really want to be doing in the, in the bush is be um, quite cognizant of, of smells 
especially smells that uh, hyenas uh, or, or, or carnivores like. Um, and if you can avoid uh, attracting them, um, that would be the first prize. Second prize is obviously having something that is robust enough to withstand the um, jaw pressures of these animals. Now they're getting bored with the cooler box, they'll start to find um, other things interesting. And uh, yeah, like that, they're all bored. They've gone for a swim uh, to cool off because they get really hot doing the activities. Okay, and for those of you wondering how we were making this film, uh, there's all the caged animals, which is the way we like to keep them so that they're nice and safe from the hyenas. There's Hay Hayden from Wild Coolers. Do you have anything to say? Buy my cooler box. <laughs> I want to see that cooler. I want to see it's actually it's it's held up quite well. I must be honest. Lock's held up well. <laughs> okay. So the contents of your cooler would be perfect. In this case, chunks of meat the hyenas couldn't get at. Right, so uh, that's that. Um, hope you placed your bets on the, the cooler box or the hyenas. I think in this case, the cooler box came up one and the hyenas got zero, um, which is fantastic. Um, the, 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 I must just say, these cooler boxes are really incredible. And I'm not just saying that because they uh, sponsor us and that I'm an ambassador for them it's because it really is a top quality product and um, we like to associate with really really good products that are authentic and this is this fits uh, fits the mold so uh, if you are in the market for a good cooler box i would recommend them they are um, a, a top top quality product so um, yeah I'm, I'm very happy the way uh, the, the test turned out because uh, you know, if the hyenas had got in, that wouldn't really be uh, uh, too good. So I'm glad that the hyenas lost this round. Uh, the hyenas had fun. We had fun making this, and I hope you had fun watching it. So until next time, guys, if you want to find out more about uh, what we do, you can follow us on the social media, Line Whisperer SA, on Instagram and Facebook. You can also go to the foundation, uh, kevinrichardsonfoundation.org, and look at the social channels there. Um, and if you're not subscribed to uh, Lion Whisperer TV, uh, you're missing out. So uh, please do subscribe and please do share. And thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you. Cheers.